Danse, make a motte on Sigason. Hello, my name is Willie Littlechild. I'm a chief from Treaty 6 territory in Canada, here to be discussing at a very important and historic global summit of Indigenous uh, peace. Sego se wagwego Colleen Whitlow Young Yats Kanyangahagani Wagu Wanjoda. Um hello everybody, my name is Colleen Whitlow and I am a member of the Mohawk Nation and I'm from Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. My name is Colin Martin. My traditional name is Joha Haise. I am uh, Mohawk of the Mohawk Nation, Turtle Clan, and I come to you today from Oshwegan, Six Nations, Grand River Territory. I'm Cyril Roland de Béchon. I'm a human rights advocate from Cameroon, uh, where I'm the executive director of the NGO called Nouveau Droit de l'Homme. Well, unfortunately and sadly, indigenous peace building processes have been overlooked, um, in my view, sometimes deliberately. And by that, I mean deliberate in a sense of uh, lack of recognition of us as human beings to begin with, and lack of respect that stems from that. It's important that uh, that deliberate exclusion is now dealt with, because I think and I believe we have, uh, through our peace processes, a lot to contribute to humankind. All of these colonized ways of thinking, they came in there without having that respect and and kindness and actually just even taking the time to understand who we are and where we come from, where we're rooted in as indigenous peoples, those sacred connections that we have to our mother earth. I think it was just their mindset when they came in, they weren't open to the, uh, they just seen us and viewed us in different ways. And they overlooked all of the ancestral knowledge and the traditional econo ecological knowledge that we have been um, given and it runs through us, through our ancestors. Even though the U.S. structured their governance system after the Haudenosaunee, they forgot one important com component of that, and that was the, the voice of the women. We currently live in a, a paternalistic world, and that contributes to the ego part of their brain being used too much in terms of governance structure. There's no balance there anymore. So we the Haudenosaunee are here in Washington to bring forth that message again that we need to balance out. The message to the world is simply you have to include the women. Women and girls are really like uh, impacted by the conflict and they really support what is happening in the community. Like they have to take care of the family, they have to take care of children, they have to take care of, of men, they have to take care of everything, and they have to take care of the family, they have to go to the market, they have to, you know, they are really at the center of the communities. One of our core concepts is having a good mind. So the Gutnigo Leo in the Mohawk language, that's how we say that. And really what that is, is that is, bringing a sense of peace within yourself. So bringing a sense of peace within yourself and all of our ceremonies and everything and everything that we do, the business that we conduct, that is a core concept of who we are. In essence, when we sit down and, and we have conversations, um, we have clan meetings, we have councils, and we have our grand council, there's no such thing as time. We go by the day and we, we try to start early and we, we go until uh, the sun begins to go down. And then if we can't get through the issues in that time frame, then we put it to rest for the day and continue on the next day until we can come to a resolution. I think that is what is really important, is how can we have peace process where people find themselves. Because as you know, I think uh, we, have, we, we have been facing the failure of peace process over the world and in Africa precisely. So I think, and this is because people don't find, they not ownership of this process. People don't trust the process and, and they're not involved in the process. The spiritual foundations of our beliefs in regard to peace building has to be taken into account. And I say taken into account by way of 
calling on us to build on each other's strengths, build on those strengths and work together in unity. And in that way, I believe that by working together, we can achieve peace in conflict areas or achieve, achieve peace within self and achieve peace with others. Mm -hmm.